I try to take as much of the motion out of the fingers as possible. I don't want this controlling my vibrato or bends. So all of it is based off first finger vibrato for me. And it's this motion. You find in your elbow that it's really that turning that's happening. And it's a combination of that and then the side of my first finger touching the side of the neck. So I actually, for starters, take my thumb off the neck. And if you try it like, say the seventh fret, somewhere midway up on the neck on the G string, and just pulling down, all I'm doing with the finger is I'm fretting the note, and then I'm not letting my finger move. If I speed that up and make it less wide, I've got a nice vibrato there. If I have the thumb off the neck, I can play a smooth, even vibrato, but it's really hard for me to vary that vibrato at all. I look at vibrato as if I have uh, two dimmer switches, like for lights. One is controlling width, the other's controlling speed. I want to be able to get any combination of those two dimmer switches that I want. So the thumb is never on there hard. I went to the fifth fret, but never on there hard. It's just there to, if I want to make that vibrato narrower, it's a, a counterweight to push against where it's giving me the control. If I want to make it wider, I can do that. I can do a slow and really wide one. The idea is to be able to get it where you can find any combination of those dimmer switches you want, but then just use the vibratos that sound good.